Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Calvin Lim Investing. And today we're gonna go over a couple of tickers with very, very nice setups that I'm going to be watching and that you should also pay attention to for uh, for the rest of this week as well as the upcoming two or three weeks. So we got a really cool segment and the first ticker we're gonna look at is gonna be Snap. But before we get started, just a couple key things to note. Um, if you want to support me, please be sure to subscribe and follow, and also like this video. Next of all, these are all of my opinions as well as analysis. Please do your own research and due diligence before you begin to invest. I'm not an expert or an advisor, I'm just an enthusiast. So with that being said, let's jump right in. So you can see um, I drew this support line, or I guess the long-term support for Snap. It's been bouncing uh, on a slight uptrend um, since what since February this is the support for the most recent month it's you know it's hovering around the 59 uh, let's see let's fix that a little bit like 59 and a half range it, and in the last let's see in the last month it's been trading around 55 and a half to a peak of 65 so it's, it's a nice really five or six dollar range it's, by doing this though snap provides the perfect the perfect opportunity to trade and um this this thick line right here is actually going to be the the current price uh, at market close these extra few candles right here that you see are actually from uh post market right so this uh let's see so this this uh line right here of 65 0.5 was actually the, the actually a, a long-standing resistance you can see that it hits it once twice three times and four times before bursting above it in after hours so if it holds tomorrow I think this would be a really bullish sign um, and, a, and a shift into a bullish pattern for snap with that being said um, if it holds above the 65 line and then also goes above this line at 68. I think it has a chance to uh, to at least break all-time highs or be near all-time highs. It's a very, very long um, irregular cup or irregular U. But I do think that since everything does look pretty nice and we don't have earnings uh, coming up for some time, there's a chance that Snap is going to be retesting all-time highs. With that being said, the next earnings is August 11th, so be sure to either play it safe and exit before then or have a game plan in case earnings doesn't go well. So remember, first one's going to be Snap. It's I'm thinking that it's going to be pretty bullish if it holds above this point of 65. Next couple of days, I think it could make a new pattern and retest all-time highs. Um, I would go as usual deeper in the money options, but I do like snap a lot <clears throat> The next ticker is going to be one of my favorites as always. It's going to be Apple um, Originally, I had the first Resistant at uh, 128.3 it bursted above it um, And actually this resistance turned into support and then the next resistance was the 130 mark uh, bursted above that and then it did the same thing again and bursted above that and right now it's at 133.7 um, the uh, other resistance I have from the let's see the other line that I have actually was going to be the 134.04 from right here um, I'm looking for Apple to to burst out above 134 and hold it and I'm pretty bullish on Apple and here's why uh, so um, there's a lot of volume falling coming in to Apple. It has uh, it has lagged relative to the rest of the Fang stocks, as well as look at this pattern right here. And just in the last couple of weeks, you can see that it's from this low point of 123. You know, it, it's a really nice up bounce, up up bounce. Every time it touches this line, it bounces. So you know it. It has me feeling pretty good about Apple. Um, there's a lot of a lot of uh, potential pluses that are coming up, and I think Apple is going to continue to be one of the world's biggest companies. Um, and in addition, there was a lot of flow coming in for uh, 150 strike uh, calls. 
um, someone's believing or there's there's a lot of belief that Apple is going to be trading above 150 by August, which is going to be an all time high. And if you go out here, this is let's see. Let's do the daily. If you go out here, you can see that if it burst above this line of 138, you you know, it's it's essentially this 138 would be another or 137.19 would be another level of resistance and then your final before you get to the moon is going to be this 144. So, those are just the levels that I'm watching 134 right now. If it can push up to uh, to 137 and hold above it, it's going to have me even more bullish for a run to 144. And you know, this is the RSI right here. It's not really overbought or oversold. It's looking pretty solid at the moment, and that gives me an indication that hey, Apple does have a lot of uh, positives coming its way, and there is a chance that it's going to to move in a really nice manner. So I did buy $130 uh, calls. A couple weeks out finally we have one of my favorite tickers as well I've been trading the, trading this ticker for the last couple of days it's gonna be Tesla I had a $615 call from uh, for Monday and I sold out today when it popped up around the 654 uh, range during this run up right here um, but Tesla has really had resistance right here and the next level of resistance that I really see is going to be at the 680 mark so from here on out I think at the end of the week we have a chance of hitting at least 680 and even this uh, this chart has me pretty bullish this was the chart today let's put it on the five minute all right so you can see that let me let me redraw oh, that's fine and then up here so for the most part I saw an ascending triangle um, right for most of today I sold out near the top right around here I took profit and then right around somewhere right here I bought back in um, or right around here I got into the uh, $645 strike call option um, I didn't really have a sound argument for doing so other than the fact that I felt that Tesla had room to run um, and I felt like there was long-standing resistance at the uh, 655 mark and if it could breach that and hold above the high of the day there'd be some room to really move up all right so with that being said um, I bought that option and I saw Tesla form an ascending triangle and then it took off after hours it's up um, it's up to 662 after hours so an almost a six dollar movement um, or five dollar and some change movement after hours and I think Tesla will continue to move but going back to the bigger picture let's see let me move this back to the 15 um, so there's this huge level of resistance right here at 682 and after that, I don't think we really have another sound level of resistance till, um, till right here, the 750s. I mean, we might get some resistance right here at the 716 because it has hit that a bunch of times. But after, so those are the next three levels. So 680 is the first level, 716 and 748. Those are the levels I'm going to be watching. And I think Tesla should break out leading up to uh, earnings in July so I don't know if I will hold my shares till uh, to earnings date but I do think that Tesla has a really good chance of breaking out um, at least close to, to the 750 range or even closer to uh, all-time highs so thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you guys learned a little bit um, remember I have my friends and I have a discord group uh, the link is gonna be in the description below I did have some charting and analysis on Tesla as well as Apple um, among some other tickers this week so be sure to come in join and you can also get some of my uh, my key analysis and, and forgot some plays um, some of the guys are making baller moves off of these charts and you know you could be one of those guys too so be sure to, to drop on by if you want and 
and get to know the guys and you can ask me some questions and also see um, what I'm up to with uh, regards to my chart game. That being said, once again, please uh, feel free to subscribe if you want to give a little support and I'll see you guys around.